Hello, all you Tessalonians. Welcome back to another video here on Tesla Sheep Channel. And today, we'll be doing a highway test of the newest software we got, which is here. Let me show you. Um, well, it's not really new anymore, but uh, anyhow, it's for a uh, 2020.44.10.1. So I already did a video on uh, regular roads. Uh, it's I I didn't really see any difference even when I was driving uh, without recording any videos. Uh, but we do have another software update, which is not a main software, but it's actually a navigation data update. Um, it's probably like the Google Maps and so on and so forth. But um, we're going to test that out. And also, I just want to show you guys the phone. So last video, I uh, showed you guys what I got. And uh, today, I'm actually going to show you what it is. So this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max with humongous lenses you can't literally like if you go if you, if you if you go like eight seven years back you're not gonna see this type of camera in any smartphone period uh not even like a decent handheld uh, uh what do you call those things uh quad cam or hand cam or whatever that is um this can these cameras are crazy like it will record uh dobe uh 10 bit it's crazy um HDR2 so this is crazy so I'll be re recording my videos from uh, this phone from now on um, at the moment I am using my as you can see my 10 just regular iPhone 10 uh, which is not a which is which is a pretty good phone but it's not the greatest uh, quality in when it comes to video um, it does a really good job but the problem that I'm having with this phone <laughs> is that my Jada wireless pad would not charge it uh, at all because it's the phone is just way too mahusive that, uh, that the, the coils don't really align properly um, so I feel like I'm gonna have to you know maybe sell this and uh get another um another uh wireless pad so i'm thinking of selling it to someone um that i know uh if you all want uh, one of these pads i'll sell it to you all for i don't know 50 bucks uh canadian so hit me up if you really want it but uh, i'll try to sell it uh, here on uh in kijiji here in canada toronto or somewhere else uh, but anyhow, that's a problem that I need to fix ASAP because I love these wireless chargers in, uh, in, in my car. Um, Tesla now integrate their wireless charger. I guess I, if you, before y'all say anything, I did try this way and no charge coming through whatsoever. So as you can see, it's unlocked and it's not charging at all. So that is the problem that I need to fix, but it fits just enough like there's a little bit of room but you know it fits perfectly fine uh no issue with that but only charging so i'll fix that but currently i am here let me zoom 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 in so i'm at this starbucks right here so i'm gonna go get some coffee uh this is a starbucks i don't know why google is not labeling it as starbucks it's weird but anyhow uh I'm at the Starbucks, so we're gonna be testing a uh, highway test soon. So once I get my coffee, we're gonna get on the highway and we're gonna go all the way here to, where are we going? I'm upside down, yes, I'm upside down. Right, yeah, we're going all the way around this area right here. So we're gonna try take 401 all the way to here, so. Let's first get some coffee and uh, we'll start the video. All right, y'all. This is the first time recording in this iPhone 11 Pro. I'm saying 11, 12 Pro Max. Um, let me know how the quality is. From what I'm seeing, it looks like a DSLR professional quality. Look at those lens flares and all that stuff that's happening. It's crazy. But uh, just if you're wondering, I got the Irish cream. Um, what is it called um nitro cold brew irish cream cold brew i think i don't know how it's gonna taste i think that's cinnamon hopefully it's not but uh, anyhow um yeah my old phone is right here charging happily but this phone can't charge here because i don't know i emailed uh jada you know if their new v3 uh 
charger is compatible with my phone. If it is, uh, it's fantastic. I can actually buy it and uh, put that on. But anyhow, let's mount you all up and uh, go for a little ride. Right, so let's go for a little drive. Test out some uh, autopilot, navigator on autopilot that is. So, right, weather is actually really nice outside. If you're hearing some creaks in the front area, that's my suspension. I made an appointment already. It's on the 19th, but I don't think I'm, I'll be free on the 19th. I might have to change it back. But it's not really annoying. It's just really, I don't know. Like when people walk by, they the car is so quiet. They only focus on the sound that's coming from the front. That's really, really annoying that way. Um, but let's see. Let's let this Porsche guy go in and wait for the traffic to clear out so we can move in now um, let me know how the stabilization is uh, it's supposed to have uh, sensor shift uh, stabilization uh, for the uh, main camera uh, but I'm using the ultra wide camera uh, but I'm pretty sure they uh, like improved the stabilization uh, on the ultra wide also we're on autopilot let's see how it handles so again uh, it doesn't really go 10 over anymore it only goes um, that 10 percent i think i let it at 10 percent or 13 percent i'm not too sure i gotta check but in terms of taking corners it's really really going really fast this time around in this autopilot that's all i noticed like taking corners is not cautious anymore look at this it's going the speed really i, I would have slowed down to like 50 uh, around that corner even 45 would be acceptable uh, let's see uh, autopilot navigate on autopilot so I set it on 12% um, and everything was on Mad Max so that's the setting so let's put on the signal turn it's a regular road regular highway that we usually take for uh, navigate on autopilot test Right when I get in, I'll pop it back on autopilot and uh, see how she does. So I can put it on autopilot now. Again, it right away goes to 112 kilometer an hour uh, set speed uh, instead of 100 because that's, you know, I set it to 100. I mean, I set it to 12% higher. So the, today, right now it's 12.38, uh, so the traffic is really, really low. Um, I mean, it, for Toronto, that this traffic is nothing. So it wants to change lane. Let's see how it does. Already good. I'm pretty sure it's going to change lane again. Yep, because it's stuck behind this car. I don't. When it's on Mad Max, it doesn't like to. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. It did something funky there. I don't know why it did that, but it should slow down and change. Okay, that's not good. So, this software update, I don't know what they did. It's not smooth uh, as before. It is not smooth. Like, last time I almost gave it 100%. I think I gave it a uh, 99%. But right now, because of that sorbent and it wants to change lane, it changed the lane. There's nobody behind me, there was nobody from like the guy who was in front of me, he was like really far away. Uh, but for some reason, uh, it you know swerved into the other lane and then came back. Uh, that was a little freaky if you had passengers, but for me, it's not a big deal. Uh, I won't really, well, I mean, I wasn't gonna take away the meat. Uh, I'm not gonna take away like a big point off it. Uh, probably take. I did this pretty good. Probably take like I don't know five percent off. So it's at ninety five percent now. So let's see if it uh, loses any more points. That's a good thing about trying out autopilot at different times because when it's on like from what I've seen on slow traffic, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it can get stuck uh, in between cars that like it wants to change lanes uh, and but it couldn't but 
but uh, so far what I've seen is that slow, slow traffic, it's, uh, it's actually doing a pretty brilliant job at uh, changing lanes. Uh, when it's moving really fast, it's kind of, you know, wants to change lane like really quickly instead of like smoothly changing lanes. Uh, and then, I mean, it's not a big, like changing lanes really fast is not a big deal, but it, it's kind of hard for the computer to take control of the fast lane change. Now it wants to change back to the other lane. So that's, this is something that I don't really like. Let's try out this Irish leaf. Not bad. It kind of tastes like Bailey's. It's chocolate, not uh, cinnamon like I thought. It's cocoa, uh, cocoa butter on top of it. It kind of tastes like um, Bailey's to be honest. <laughs> That's what I think of. But anyhow. That truck driver wants to change lane, I think, but you didn't. Let me know how the stabilization in this camera, because uh, I had people complain about the stabilization on my uh, iPhone 10, uh, but then when I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, no complaints. No. Another thing that I hate about the leftmost lane is that people brake really hard. Whenever you're on the leftmost lane, I would recommend people to like stay a good four or five car distance away from uh, the car in front of you. Yes, it will break really hard. Like generally, when you're on the highway, you should you should not like like you know stay behind a car for the longest time, like really close. See, it's slowing down because the side traffic is slow. See that guy change lane. This guy wants to change lane, but doesn't really care. If he wants to change lane, he have to go fast. And change lane, come on. There we go. So that's another feature that I really, really love. Uh, is because he actually waved at me. That's really nice of him. Um, like when people let you into their lane, just wave at them so to let them know uh, that thank you because like for example, I usually do this peace sign like right here, like above my front, I was gonna swear, above my, uh, like right above the back window so like people can't see behind me. Um, so yeah, like manners, when you're on the highway, manners, matters. Uh, people are nice and uh, you should be nice to them too. Some people can be a real A, Holes. But, um, I mean, what can you do, right? I mean, autopilot so far, um, not bad. Again, I'm holding my hands right below, and I'm, I'm not, my hand, my legs are not even near the uh, pedals. When I'm on regular roads with uh, red lights and uh, traffic and all that stuff, I'm, my legs are, my leg is like always, my foot is always like near the brake or the accelerator pedal. Um, but when I'm on highway, I trust the car. I literally do trust the car more than me because uh, I've had experience where I wasn't recording uh, where the car saved me from a bad collision several times. Uh, so I do trust the car. I mean, yeah, the car does some stupid stuff here and there. Uh, but not as bad as where like it saved me from you know other people drive like maniacs sometimes um, but yeah so the traffic just picked up let's see yep traffic just picked up we're exiting right here so it needs to change to the other lane we'll we'll see when uh, it'll do that but so far so good except that first hiccup right there and uh, that's about it it's doing a pretty good job still 95 it's not amazing but it's not bad either man the traffic is really bad now see this is Toronto y'all it's not even it's not even five or four o'clock or even three o'clock yet it's only been almost 
one o'clock it's uh, 12 45 and the traffic is already uh, picking up that's Toronto we'll say Toronto we don't say Toronto we say Toronto right let's see you want to change lane as you can see it's putting on it's giving you the sign that it's it wants to change to that lane see it wants to be on the rightmost lane all right three two one and it should move now there's a car coming behind come on there we go to go out for the car to move but I think it was, it's, it, it was, it's being cautious see it's slowing down because there's traffic moving really slow on this lane but this lane is free but if you go really fast you never know when people are gonna just jump into jump in front of you right so again that feature really really nice because before that feature I remember autopilot was going really fast and I'm really scared because you never know when people are gonna just jump into the lane you know? it is slowing down it should slow down putting on a signal giving me the sign is it taking the right lane yes it is little hiccup now it's off autopilot. Now, now it's off navigator on autopilot. Now we're on regular autopilot. Let's see if it actually comes to a, a complete stop. Uh, it's not really, it's a merge. So let's get ready to merge. Let's see if it's gonna go. Let's change lane. Woo, there we go. It didn't really stop, but in terms of what it just did, it's fantastic. Let's change lane again. So that was really, really smooth. There's a truck. So I'm just gonna press the pedal just to confirm that you can, of course, go through. Increase the speed limit a little to 60. That is really well done. Uh, it exited, oh, why is it? It broke a little, no big deal. There was nobody, well, there's a car behind me, but it's really far away. And it wasn't really a, an abrupt break. Again, it slows down to, like, it thinks that this lane right here is 40. Let me take it up autopilot, but it is not. So, again, on highways, it's doing a great job, but on regular roads, reading speed limit sign, it reads regular signs as speed limit signs and, you know, uh, changes the speed limit. It's really annoying. They should really, really fix that because uh, where I live, it my road is 60 i mean it's 50 uh kilometer an hour but it thinks that it's actually 25. i mean in canada we don't have a 25 um speed limit i don't know why it thinks that that's really really annoying um but uh yeah so we're here we're about to charge um it's 43. um i love charging my car every whenever i get a chance um so yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, I would actually give this uh, autopilot test, a navigator and autopilot test, um, a solid 92, 93, uh, because it's not perfect. Um, it, it, it had, it's not really perfect. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of here and there. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, I mean, again, like um, it's kind of a this a software update. It's kind of like a downgrade from uh, what it was before. Let me stop here. But uh, it's not a big deal. Um, it's it, it, it's done a great job in uh, merging into the uh, the regular road from the highway uh, exit that 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 was brilliant uh, of course i got to put on the signal it wasn't it's not full self driving by any means uh, but when full self driving does come out uh, with the rewrite things are going to change for sure uh, but now this is all we got and i will give the autopilot system a solid 90 to be honest so let's give it a 90 uh if you don't agree let me know uh in the comment down below uh why um let me know how the new camera is new iphone camera it's great um i mean more and more people youtubers are using iphone cameras to record their videos because it's always in your hand 
and uh, it's really easy to transfer files in between computers. If you have a Mac, you just airdrop it in full quality, uh, records beautiful videos. Um, I don't know about photos, and photos are great too, but videos, iPhone, hands down, fantastic. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Uh, ooh, someone used my referral code today. I think it was Edwin. I'm pretty sure it's Edwin. Yep, it's Irvin, not Edwin. I don't know why I said Edwin. Uh, so Peter, Camilo, uh, Romaine, uh, he uh, ordered it and then canceled it and then ordered it again. I think he um, chose a different paint color, who, whatever. Uh, but Edwin, thank you so much uh, for using my referral code to order. Uh, if you guys really want to uh, order a new Model 3 or Model Y, I would highly recommend a Model Y right now. Uh, if you really want to order it, Use my referral code. Um, it's linked down below in the video, uh, so you guys can actually order it. You do get uh, 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging. Um, plus, um, you know, you get to use uh, your referral code. So, use my referral code. Um, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. If you're not already a subscriber, please become a subscriber. Let's, let's get this channel to 420 subscribers. Uh, that is gonna be a really big special on 420. Uh, when we do get to 420 subscribers and follow my Instagram page. I'll leave a link down below for that, too uh, It's all about cyber trucks and um, I will post cyber truck pictures and videos uh, every day um, well, I kind of skip Saturday Sundays and one or two weekdays, but almost every day I post uh, cyber truck pictures and uh, my life with my model 3 and ev world in general and stories so go follow my um instagram page and uh yeah thank you for liking thank you for subscribing this is me signing out